One of the Office applications you may not be familiar with is something called OneNote. OneNote is now provided with every version of Microsoft Office. And that's great because it's a very handy way to keep track of all your information. Rather than taking notes and sending emails backwards and forwards, you can put all that information into a OneNote file. So again, what I've got here is a OneNote file. Over on the left-hand side, you'll see I've got a number of different notebooks. Within a notebook, I have a number of tabs across the top, and it's easy enough to add more tabs. And down the right-hand side, I have a number of pages. So again, I can just simply click and move between these pages as required. But as you'll notice, the basics behind the uh, OneNote is that it looks very much like a notebook. So again, you've got your sections across the top and your pages down the side. Now the great thing about OneNote is that you can use it to share information and collaborate between different people. So again, if this OneNote is stored on a location that multiple people can access, then basically it allows you to share information. So for example, if I go to a notebook I've got down here on my office products, you'll notice that I have an area down here where someone has added some information, but you'll notice that when they add that information, I get a little tab here or here that shows me who added that information and when it was modified. So again, it's very easy to see when people add information to your OneNote. So again, instead of sending information backwards and forwards with attachments and emails, people can work together in a single area to collaborate and save information. Now, if you have a look, OneNote also supports the ability to import things like graphics, web links, and also supports the ability to embed files. So again, you can use it as a platform on which to store a whole lot of project information. Now, one of the other really great things that, SharePoint, uh, that OneNote does provide is the ability to actually print a document into OneNote. So I can save a full doc a document by copying and pasting, but what OneNote also provides you, for example, is the ability to actually print a document into it. So if I go in here and go print, I'm going to print this document into a page within OneNote. I just want to do the current page. You'll notice that the option up here allows me to send to OneNote 2010. So I go OK. It's just going to send that single page into a page that I nominate in my OneNote. So if I have a look now and go to my printout page, so now that the printout has made its way to OneNote, I can nominate where I want that printout to appear. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it on this page here called Printout. So I just select that page and then go OK. And what you'll see now is that the document will end up in OneNote. So again, here's the whole document that was from the PDF. As you can see, um, I can go in here and I can work through the document. But the most powerful thing about it is, is once the document's actually in here in OneNote, I can now search the contents of that document. So let's do a search for the author's name, well man. And as you can see, it's already produced a hit. So a great example of another reason why you would use OneNote is that it not only captures the information, it also provides the ability for that information to be backed up, but again, it makes it even more usable by making it searchable. One of the new products that's now available with the 2010 releases is SharePoint 2010. SharePoint 2010 builds on the power of previous versions to provide much more functionality than you've seen before. So again, if we have a look at a basic SharePoint site, if you haven't seen SharePoint before, it's basically a web page, an intranet or a portal that you can customise and work with, with easily within your business. So again, we can use it to, for example, upload documents that we can share within our team. For example, I've got a document here. If I wanted to add another document, I simply click the Add button. I can then browse my system and upload another document. So again, I can easily add more documents. I can easily add images. But SharePoint goes beyond just basic document management. It allows you to create calendars. So again, I can create calendars, which I can then link to my Outlook. I can also create links. I can create a whole lot 
of different styles of information. So what I'll do here, for example, to show you how easy it is, I'm going to go in and I'm going to create a wiki. So for those of you who are familiar with Wikipedia, here's how to do it in SharePoint. So we go into Site Actions, we want to create another type. What we'll do is we'll go in here and we'll select the option to create a wiki. What you'll notice here is that I can choose from a very significant range of items that I can add to my shop document uh, that I can add to my SharePoint site. So here I've got document workspaces, group workspaces, issue tracking, links, pages. So again, very easy. But down the bottom we find the wiki page library. So I'll select that, go over here and call it a knowledge base and go create. So that will now create a knowledge base area on my SharePoint site that I can go in and add information into. Okay, so here's my wiki library. So again, what I can do is if I want, I select page up the top and I can now go in and edit that entry, edit that page and add more information about what is relevant to my business. So this is a great example to use for capturing information about your business that may be just lying around on bits of paper stuck around on desks. So again, now that I'm in here, I can now edit this. And again, as you can see, across the top there, I've got something that looks very similar to the standard Office product. So again, I've got bold, I've got underline, um, I can change the font and again if I want to I can go in and I can insert a number of other items including pictures, links, tables, files, all sorts of things. So again, very easy place for you to store all the information that you're after. But again, once I finish with that, I can just save and close it and that's now updated that wiki page. So I can use a wiki typically as a knowledge base to add more information and help others within my business with information they may be looking for. One of the really cool features of SharePoint 2010 is what's known as Office Web Apps. So what this allows you to do is actually view documents within a web browser. So here I've got a document on my front page. If I pull down the options here so you can see it, one of the options here is to actually view in a browser. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to select that option and what's going to happen is, is that SharePoint will bring up this document for me to view, but you'll see that it's in a browser. I haven't actually opened Word. I'm not working in Word here. This is still working in a web browser. And again, here's my document. So I can now view it without necessarily having to have Word on my workstation. So again, if I want, I have the ability to open it in Word, if I have that on my workstation. Alternatively, I can edit in a browser. So what I'll do here is I'll select the option to edit this in a browser. So again, I can now make changes to the document. I can improve it. I can add comments. I can do a whole lot of work and be collaborative without necessarily having to have Word on my desktop. So here we are in our document. Again, I can simply go in here select what I want to do and make changes. So again, I'll make that, change that color to red. And as you can see, that makes that red. If I now go into file and save. So again, very much a similar interface to what we see in Word. But again, not necessarily all doing this through um, a browser. So now that I've finished with the document, I can now close it. And I'm returned to my SharePoint site. So again, remember that I have conducted all of this within SharePoint. So I hope that gives you a bit of an overview of the benefits and some of the features that are available now in Office 2010 and SharePoint 2010. Um, and we certainly hope that you're interested in more information. Thank you very much.